What's up everyone? It's me CN Screamer and welcome to CN Figures! Figures in your house! And for this tour of you, we're gonna look at the Marvel Legends 2018 Monster Venom Little Figure Wave Poison. And this is my second figure review that I'm doing from this wave because I really review Time Force Mary like a year ago and you can see the figure inside there and it comes with one piece of the bill of figure and the top in the box is Legend Series bottom of the box is Marvel Venom and the name of the figure Poison and I really love the boxes of these guys <laughs> and the top of the box there's the Venom logo and right here in the corner this is the name of the bill of figure and both sides of the box has a picture of poison. And the back side, there's a picture of the figure. And there's all the figures in the set that you can get. And even the bill of figure right there. And there's nothing in the bottom side, so I'm not chatting. Let's take him out. If you want to pick this guy, you can pick him up right now at CMT Store. So please check out that website right now. And here's the figure out of his box, and he looks incredible. It seems like he has some armor all around it, but I don't know anything about this guy. If some of you guys know who he is, leave me in the comments because that really helps me out a lot. Okay, so let's take a good look at this figure. Mm-hmm. I'll take it back because when this way was popping out and I saw like few reviews out of this figure and I was talking bad things about it that he doesn't look that gray he looks whack with those tentacles but I was so wrong he looks great with those tentacles and he, it seems that he has some nice detail but he doesn't come with any like a uh, pairs of hands or an extra head anything so with any accessories around let's begin and here's Poison again, and I see why they call him that, because his face looks like a snake, just look at it. And my brother said that he's going to help me out to get the rest of the figures from this wave and build the Monster Venom Billow figure. And the only ones I'll be keeping there is Carnage and Scream. Okay, so now let's take a good look at that head sculpt, because they've done a pretty good job there. But look, his face looks like a snake. Snake eyes and a snake smile, but they still had some little bit black paint apps on his eyes, on his smile, but right there in the tips has a little bit of silver color, same thing for the lips, and some silver color right there in the forehead. Actually, he has a little bit silver color all around the body, like the arms, you can see in this little detail sculpt, some silver color in the tips and each on each arm right there and no saw on his legs and his torso and the shoulders and these tentacles came out pretty good and you can move them a little bit you see you can stretch them a little bit but do not stretch them that hard because you might um, pull it off but this is really awesome I believe this could be like a like a like a, um, how you call it oh, yeah like a special effect on this figure. I think this is his power here. And I think he's ready, ready to battle. But this figure is so amazing. Again, I really take it back. Why in the world I was offending this figure since was since the year that he came out? Oh, please forgive me, Hasbro. I really take it back. You guys done a very, very good job on this guy. But let's see in the back side. Yep, in the back side has some like little bit of detail sculpt right there. But I don't think so you guys can see it. Can you see it? Yeah, you guys can see it. Yeah, that's awesome. But they should at least give us like a one extra head. Like an open mouth. But it didn't. And they should at least added some little bit silver paint on the nails. Now that would be good. And you can see that each hand has some detail right there. And but this one, you can see the they done a good job with the knuckles on this guy's fist 
and also in the front side and look you can see his nail from his thumb that's pretty good they done a good job with the hands but there's anything around to talk about his legs nothing but it does has a lot of bunch of but well he does has like a lot of bunch of great silver lines around the body that's pretty good there okay so now it's about his articulation you can move his head side to side rotation he can look up he can look down a lot and look and his back of his head does have some detail I forgot to show you that you can move his arms around you can open his arms as much some bites at swivel we get some double jointing on the elbows some swivel on the wrist and bibbit torso articulation swivel on the waist he only can open his legs this much he can kick a lot in the front a little bit from the back double jointed right there swivel on the piece of the leg and some ankle articulation comparing scene time but first let's see how tall this guy stands he stands just exactly six and a half inches tall. And here he is with my Marvel Legends Time Force Mary. And you can see that he's taller than Mary. And here he is with my Marvel Legends Black Suit Spider-Man. And you can see that he's taller than Spider-Man. And here he is with my Legacy White Ranger Dino Charge. And you can see that he's taller than Poison. And here he is with my Fair Marvel Thanos. And there you have it guys. And boy, this piece is amazing. But it should at least give us like a, some accessories, like one pair of extra hands or an extra head and maybe some, some special effects. But still, I don't know anything about this guy. Like I mentioned, let me know in the comments down below, okay? Alright, so this is all for today's review. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did... Please leave a like. If you want to share this video, go ahead. Be my guest. Comment, but remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my tour reviews, more of my toy news, more of my toy hunts, and more unboxing videos that I get packaged from Amazon and Big Bad Toy Store. And yes, finally, I'm back in action. I'm back for more tour reviews and I really love doing that okay and please follow my Facebook page CM figures follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram and I catch you guys on the next video take care be safe keep on hunting keep on collecting and I'll see you next time this is CM Tuskaima and Poison and we're out in line.